So transformational leadership and authentic leadership really are the big items on the agenda of most leaders that I work with. Transformational leadership because it gives very practical ideas about leading change, around transforming organisations, about challenging the way we might have done things in the past. And then the authenticity is there because it's all about when I do change or when I lead people, I've got to lead them around a particular set of like moral code, uh, being authentic and being genuine about what we're trying to achieve. So not being, being honest with staff about what the changes might totally entail. For example, all change leads to disruption, it'll lead to threats, but it might also lead to opportunities. So both of those theories in, in the work I do, or authentic leadership and transformational leadership, are the ones that leaders actually find very practically useful as against the old-fashioned theories of trait and more situational theories. So the one leadership quality that I, I know is important and it goes back to the discussions I have with leaders when I sit down with them in workshops, it's, it's about integrity. It's about being true to what I said I would do. Uh, it's all about being ethically appropriate in what I do but delivering on, on my promises. So if I said this would happen, this will happen. Uh, and if it doesn't happen that way, then I'll explain the reasons why. Because quite often things, do, thing does, things go wrong. There's uh, certain things that you can't control and uh, there's things that you just can't do much as a leader and a manager about. But integrity shines through. And in most contexts, cross-culturally, when you do studies in this area, integrity seems to be the virtue that is highlighted most by leaders themselves and also most importantly by the followers as well.